Gentlemen, we all know that companies love putting gaming in their product names, but while this is a meaningful descriptor for some components, for others it's nothing more than marketing gobbledygook. Your task is to arrange these gaming parts on the board according to the most legitimate. You know what, I'll go first. I would say a gaming mouse is legitimately very gaming. Why'd you put the mouse so high, Linus? This, this should be at the top. Well, no, because a gaming mouse is more likely to have better gaming yeah. performance right, you try, than a non-gaming You try getting mouse. headshots with a quadro, dude. Yeah, especially with the new, our new drivers. Get out of here. And I'm standing by it. <laughs> oh no! It's off the yeah. charts! <laughs> so we got SSD. We're putting yeah. this way down here, boys. Off the charts again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's oh yeah, no! There you go. Yeah. Well, I mean, gaming monitors, mm -hmm. I would say, like, probably go right over Whoa! here. Whoa! Really? Like, I mean, more than a mouse? Okay, I'm gonna say that gaming RAM probably makes more of a difference than gaming SSD because it does tend to have lower latency. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can get behind that. I also think the RGB makes you feel better about yourself, oh, and so you're going to perform better. I'm gonna That's put true. So maybe yeah. the Interesting, they're accounting for a placebo <laughs> effect. <laughs> okay, gaming headphones. Oh. Uh, that can tell you where the enemies are. Yeah, so can regular headphones. That's true. To a quadro? Yeah, what just... are you comparing it to? We're comparing it to products called Oops. gaming! Don't put that in the video. They're tearing <laughs> themselves <laughs> apart. Okay, because okay. if it's that, we can put them all at the f***ing bottom. This was supposed like, to be no, 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 because a gaming monitor will be better. Now let's see how our participants respond to gaming desk. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> no, strong disagree. <laughs> oh! Oh, that is... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Throw in your a cup holder, perhaps, for your energy drink? Would that improve gaming performance? But that wouldn't improve yeah, performance. The drink is improving performance. Mm -hmm. You're confounding yes. variables. <laughs> but if you have to put it somewhere else and go grab it every time you want a drink. That could of... hurt your gaming performance. Yeah. Well. yeah, if it doesn't have a cup holder. Put it on the chart. Has, it has <laughs> okay, all right, I'm getting it. <laughs> it's likely to hurt RGB. But we gotta, yeah, probably we, has we RGB. We gotta assume it has RGB. I think we just leave it there. So is there such a thing as a gaming desk? Let's see what the Sharkoon Skiller SGD1 brings to the table. To the desk. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, I get it! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put it in my phone. Wait, you're a coaching. scientist. The new Force B36 has a new version using the latest in true wireless technology, like their new mono mode for one ear use while maintaining audiophile quality sound. Check it out at the link in the video description. First, let's start with the facts. The SGD1 is a 55 by 27.5 inch desk that stands 31 inches tall. It's got a wooden tabletop with a scratch and apparently splash resistant coating and hefty triangular steel legs. On balance, the desk feels robust and sturdy. It's a good desk, but is there anything about it that makes it a gaming desk other than it's explicit, but not in my opinion, over the top game ray looks? Well, Sharkoon claims that the desk does indeed have specialized functionality for gamers, though I'm not sure I really buy it. Let's go through these features one by one, shall we? First, the tabletop is large enough for essential equipment. Well, there's definitely enough room for a monitor, keyboard, and mouse, though you might have difficulty fitting your desktop on there too, depending on how big your case is, especially considering the shape of the desk kind of prevents you from comfortably sliding the rest of your stuff over. Still. I'll let them have this one. Next, it's the ergonomically chamfered edges that ensure comfortable gaming and working even over long periods. They're talking about this little slope here. But it's surprisingly sweet. It's easy on your mouse arm, and if you pull the keyboard close to the edge, it makes a really nice natural wrist rest because your wrists are in a neutral position rather than extended, which can contribute to repetitive stress injuries. This one definitely counts. But the strangest claim is that the protruding elements at each side provide convenient support for the elbows. The elbows. Really? This one wasn't working for me, so I enlisted the help of the other writers. Do people game like this? Oh, that's way better. Well, there's two ways that I can see. One is if you have two gaming computers. 
for like, I don't know, team play or something, you got an armrest right here and an armrest right over there. That's actually a pretty good point. I didn't realize that I was using this edge. But would it really matter if I, if I didn't have this edge? I would still be over here. Apparently, pro gamers use their whole arms when they move the mouse around. And you gotta like teach yourself to do this. If you've got like a lot of travel. This actually lets you get a bit more movement with the mouse. It's not bad. You gotta be leaning right in. Basically, you need to be a sniper, I guess. I think I get the advantage of being up close rather than having a big monitor there or whatever. Look at look at the amount of control that I have because my elbow is there. I could pwn so many more noobs. Normally I can pwn like four to five. This is an eight to nine situation. <laughs> okay, I'm still not sure about that one, but there's actually a fair few features that other gaming desks offer that this one does not, like a full surface mouse pad, headphone hanger, or RGB lights. <laughs> No RGB! <laughs> but the SGD1 does have a couple design elements that are nice to have for any desk, gamer or not, including the wobble killing adjustable feet, integrated cable management tray, and this lovely little recess that ensures you can run cables off the desk's edge and still be able to push it flush against the wall. Very nice. So should you buy this desk? While I don't think it's going to give me any more FPS, I found it very easy to assemble in just under 35 minutes with nice build quality despite the holes on the underside not quite lining up perfectly, uh, but that didn't really take away from the structural integrity. So if you like the look, and I hope you like blue because it's the only color, if you live in a region where this puppy's actually sold, or especially if you already own matching Skiller products, this is a desk you can really stand behind. Speaking of things you can stand behind, do you need to create a beautiful website, but you don't want to go through the hassle? Well, check out Squarespace. Their all-in-one platform makes it easy to get up and running quickly. They have award-winning templates that you can use as a starting point for a wide range of projects. And if you ever need additional help, Squarespace also offers webinars, a full series of help guides, and even 24 seven customer support via live chat and email. If you already have a third party domain, you don't have to give it up, just transfer it over to Squarespace. Plus you get e-commerce features to help you sell merch or services online and easily manage your inventory and orders. So head over to squarespace.com forward slash LTT to get 10% off on your first purchase. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, get subscribed and check out the links below where you can buy the stuff we featured in this video, our awesome merch, which I'm not wearing at all. And of course our forum, which you should totally join.